Hi everyone and welcome to my overview of the Sims 4 Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack. So in this video I'm going to be showing all the items that come with the stuff pack and all the color options for them and also talk about the gameplay that comes with it. But a little bit about the stuff pack is that it comes with Art Deco furniture as well as old Hollywood inspired fashion. It also brings back butlers as well as a new vanity table that allows your sims to put on makeup temporarily. But getting into create a sim there are two new hairstyles for female sims. This first one's alright, for some reason something about it seems kind of off to me, but it's not bad, but I really love this second hairstyle, definitely my favorite out of the two. We also get two new pairs of earrings, both of which have a very elegant look to them and will go well with formal wear outfits. There's also a new pair of glasses, which have a tortoiseshell pattern, and these aren't exactly my cup of tea, but they do fit with the theme of the stuff pack. We also get two new necklaces, and surprisingly there wasn't any new makeup, and I was thinking there would be, seeing as they added in the vanity and made a big deal out of your sims being able to do up their makeup so I figured there'd be some new makeup items but nope there wasn't. Uh, there's also two new tops uh, both of which are very lovely and elegant looking especially like the first one. Um, the second one seems like something you could pair with more casual pants and use in a casual outfit. We also get one skirt which goes really well with either of the tops and then there's three full outfits. There's this really beautiful long dress um, which I really like. And then there's also this robe outfit. Um, I'm not exactly sure if this is supposed to be pajamas or a gown. I think it's supposed to be pajamas, but I could be wrong on that. I'm not exactly sure. And then we also have the butler outfit. And there's also a couple of bracelet new watches that come with the stuff pack. I also noticed that most of the items have the same color options, which is nice because you can more easily mix and match them and coordinate the different items. But moving on, we also get three new pairs of shoes. So there's this pair of heels, which I really like. And they also remind me of some of the other heels that we've gotten in this game. And then there's also a couple of pairs of loafers. And I believe these had pretty much the same colors, uh, but that's almost it for the female Sims. Lastly, there are two new style looks. And then for the male sims, there's one new hairstyle, which I actually like. I like the um, swoopy bit in the front. I don't know if that's really the best description of that. But they also get two new shirts, and there wasn't really very many creative sim items for male sims. You just have these two tops, and then also three full outfits. And there wasn't really a whole lot of creative sim items with the stuff pack, but then again, most stuff packs don't really have a ton of creative sim items, but I just felt like this one had a little bit less. But that's fine because that meant that there's more items, which as someone who enjoys building a little bit more than making sims is fine with me. But I guess it would have been nice to see a few more creative sim items while having the same amount of build and buy mode items. But the stuff pack did come with a little over 60 items, so in terms of the amount of items it came with, it was on par with the other stuff packs, if not having a few more items. But anyway, that's it for the adult sims. So for kid sims, there's two new hairstyles. There's also this new top, which is a really nice suit jacket. So it's good to have another formal wear outfit for kid sims. And then there's also this dress, which is also very formal looking and then lastly there's a couple of style looks and then that's it for the creative some stuff moving over to build and buy mode there's two new wallpapers both of which have a shiny texture so when you look at them from different angles you can see the light reflecting off of them which is a really nice touch and i'm probably going to be using both of these wallpapers a good bit especially the first one i think that'll work really well as an accent wall even in more modern builds and there's also a new door and a new window, both of which have a nice Art Deco kind of a style to them. And we also get two new chairs. This one is a living chair. And then there's also a dining chair. And this reminds me a lot of one of the dining chairs that came with movie hangout stuff, except that it's got some more toned down patterns to it than that one. And there's also the sofa, which I really like. And we get not one, but two new beds, which I was really excited about because before City Living released, I was really wanting new beds and we got two new beds of city living and now we have two new more beds. So I, yeah, glad to see that. And lastly, in the comfort category, there's a new ottoman. So in surfaces, there's a new coffee table. Some of the patterns have a marble texture to it, which I really like. And then some of them have more plain textures. There's also two new accent tables. Uh, the second one I think is supposed to be more of a beverage cart. And there's also a new desk. I like the detail on the legs of this desk, and I think this desk could work well in modern builds in general. And here are the two new vanities, which are one of the main features of this stuff pack. The first one's a little bit more modern, and then the second one's a little bit older looking. I actually like the second one more. And here's the glow bar, which uh, is inspired by the Prohibition era. So in the decorative category, there's a new plan. I was kind of sad that there's only one new plan, but we also have that new painting. And there's also four new mirrors. So you have this one, and then there's also this one. 
as well as variants of it for the different wall heights, but I just showed this one to save a little bit of time. And then we also get four new currents, so you have left and right versions of this more plain current, and then you have the same kind of thing, but with a doily on one of the sides, and it comes in pretty much the same colors as the other one, again, with the left and right variant. And we also have this little line on top of some book statue, as well as some perfumes and two new rugs. So we get yet another faux fur rug, which um, it's nice to see. I like the one that came with City Living. Um, I like the City Living one a little bit more than that one, but that's still nice to have. And then we also get our deco inspired fireplace as well as this room divider. In lighting, there are three new table lamps. Uh, one of them is this giraffe light, which I really like. It's kind of quirky, something I'm definitely gonna be using a good bit. And then we have this perfume tray with a candle in it and also a sanding light. And lastly, there is a ceiling lamp, which I really like. Um, this will definitely work really well in more luxurious mansions. And then here is a sundial watch or clock. I think that's, I think it's a sundial pattern. And lastly, there are two new dressers. So this one that's more of like a dresser. And then you also have a taller armoire, both of which come in the same patterns and pretty much have the same style. And that's it for all the items. There's also four new rooms, two of which are bedrooms, one of which is a dining room, and the last one is a living room. As far as gameplay goes, your sims can try on a variety of different kinds of makeup with the vanity. As you can see, there's a lot of options. And the makeup is temporary. I think it stays on for about 11 hours. I could be wrong on that, but I think I heard it was 11 hours somewhere. And it also comes off with certain outfit changes like having your sims change into their sleepwear and also comes off when they shower. Uh, so here I just have a sim trying on some makeup so they'll just dab their face with various things and pretend to put on eyeliner, um, but you don't actually see the makeup change until towards the end when they take this giant poof and just stick it all over their face and then it magically changes to the new makeup, which for whatever reason kind of disappointed me, me a bit. I was kind of hoping you would see it change as they went through the pro process, so it just seemed to make it a little bit less interesting to watch. You can also have kids play with makeup at the vanity, although the results are nearly as good as when adults do it because every time the kids try to put on makeup, it ends up not really looking so great as you can see here, but it's still something cute and fun that you can have your child sims do if you want. And you can also have your sims get drinks out of the glow bar, of course. There's only three drinks that you could choose from. There's not really a whole lot your sims could do with this, but it's still something fun to have around. And I think you can also have child sims spin it around and then you'll hear a glass breaking sound. We also get a new TV classics TV channel. And then of course you can have your Sims hire a butler, which I'm showing here really quick. Um, they're actually pretty pricey. And then once the butler gets to your home, there's a few options that you can have. So you can assign them to have different tasks and have them greet visitors among other things. You can also assign a bed for them. And there's a new door locking option where you can lock a door for everyone but the butler so you can give them their own room. And that's it as far as what comes with this stuff pack. Overall, I like it. It's not my favorite stuff pack, but it's not my least favorite either. And while I liked most of the items that came with it, one complaint that I did have is that a lot of the items felt like they weren't really Art Deco furniture. Um, it just felt more like it was modern furniture with an Art Deco inspiration rather than furniture that actually came out of the 20s, 30s, or 40s, which is what I was thinking it was gonna be originally. So I was a little bit disappointed by that because a lot of the items seemed to be very similar in shape and style to previous items that we had just with some variations in terms of the coloring. And while it's good in a way, because I think it means that a lot of these items will work well in different styles of builds, I was also hoping to see something that really fit with a vintage glamour art deco style that looked like stuff that was actually made back in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. So I think it'd be nice to have items that are really different than what we've had. But apart from that, I did like it. It was nice to have butlers added back into the game. And that's about it that I have to say. So if you're still deciding whether or not you want to get the stuff pack, I hope that this video is helpful. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.